So check it out. I put some elbow, some uh, what are those called? Canards on this thing real quick, just to kind of increase the surface area um, of the wing, give it a little more wing area because I cut off the front and I put the camera on it. This was the RC Powers F22, but I had, but I crashed it and I lost the hatch and I said, ah, forget it. I'm gonna do something fun with it. I think this is gonna be too heavy to fly, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So I just taped that one vertical stabilizer that broke in the last crash and I'm just gonna try it real quick. We'll see what happens. So check this out. I'm gonna launch it like full, full power because it feels real, real nose heavy and real heavy in general. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. We're just gonna fly it real low, real quick, and see if I can get it to. Might as well turn the camera on, right? Okay, cool. So, let's see if the sucker wants to fly. No way. It actually flies. It doesn't want to gain altitude too easily at anything less than less than uh, full throttle. I don't know if she's going to glide in too well. But for right now, it's actually capturing video, which is awesome because my buddy this weekend needed some video footage in my Hobby King order. It's stuck in customs. It's taking forever to get here, and so I won't be able to get my Hawk Sky camera plane going with the M NTM engine. So, okay, I'm going to pull the full. Okay, that's no, no power. See how she glides here in. So this is no power. That's actually not bad at all. Those canards are... I read on the forum that if you put canards on the plane, then you can shift the center of gravity forward. And I saw that one RC Powers video where the dude crashed the 22, and he was like, oh, well, the Raptor, you know, it's got a pretty low wing loading in general. Why don't we just put some canards on there, shift the center of gravity forward with the camera, and then she should fly. Get a good picture of myself. And what do you know? It will fly. It'll fly some high alpha with the camera on there. Well, for a second, anyways. But it's actually flying pretty darn similar to the way that it flew without the camera on and with the nose. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm worried about landing, though, because it's, it's a lot heavier. It is way heavier. I bet I can fly this in the wind better, but man, is this thing heavy. It does rolls really, really clean, though. Straight rolls. I'm sure that's going to be some great video. Let's try to land this thing. Let's see. Not too bad. I kind of flared a little early. I could have uh, left it closer to the ground. But dang, that didn't break anything. Look at that. How hot's the motor from working on that? I mean, it's getting up there. But that's where I put the battery to. It was here. Now it's here. And that thing seems to be working okay. I can't, I can't believe this thing flies so great. This is the maiden of it right here. I didn't test it or anything. This is it. So, one more time. Okay, on takeoff, you got to have full throttle. <laughs> got to have full throttle on takeoff. But it seems to be flying great. I can't believe how awesome this thing is flying. Let's get it up real nice and high. So it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't gain altitude too quickly. And I'm at three-quarters throttle, and I can kind of, I can maintain altitude at three-quarters throttle. Kind of stalls out a little bit because I have to give it a good elevator. I think maybe if I move the battery back a little bit more, it'll balance pretty well. Give it a little bit of up trim there. It just flies so nice. I can't believe this. These RC Powers jets are just so awesome. Look at that, the noseless 22 camera plane. And it's got a white canard and a black canard because I didn't have enough of one color 
paper. Now dare I, for the last minute, do some inverted flight? Yes, I dare. Let's see. Oh no, it doesn't want to do that. It doesn't want to do that. Well, not at the throttle setting that I had it at. I'm trying to conserve the battery to get a full long video off of the GoPro. Try to go for the full six minutes here that I have set on my timer. I gotta have this plane last till Saturday, like I said, because I told my buddy I would help him video. He's like a professional videographer guy. I told him I, I'd help him video a golf tournament at a golf course. So the thing's gotta last. So I guess I should fly it steady and quit messing around. I can't believe this. I think I'm talking on this video a lot because I'm really nervous too. Oh, there goes my timer maybe? No? Oh, I'm on the last minute. Okay. One more minute to go. Man, this is going to be a really cool video. Turn around and come towards me again. This thing is flying like a regular F-22. I can't believe this, how great it is. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of altitude while I got some battery left. No, that's not working. I think I'm taxing this system pretty hard. Okay, let's land this sucker. There it is. F-22 with some canards I just put on with Fabri-Tac. And, uh, well, you can kind of tell. Let me turn off this transmitter. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to do... Don't turn off your transmitter before you unplug the battery. I just did that. Out of <coughs> nervousness, I guess. Not thinking about protocol, but... Oh, uh, let's stop this. <coughs> Man, check that out. Maybe I'll cut off the little corners of the of the dollar foam and make it more aerodynamic right there. But the thing is just, it's awesome. <laughs> I didn't make any special map. It's just taped on there. The camera's just taped on there. But I guess that doesn't really matter. This thing is, this is awesome. I can't believe it works so well. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll put the other video on too on my face or on my uh, YouTube account, and we'll see what's going on. Later.